Hey guys, thanks for tuning in to Dirt Bike Channel. I'm your host, Kyle Brotherson. I've got Sam Oldham here with me, and we have been going back to back on these two bikes for the past four hours. We've got the Beta 300 RR, this is the 2017 version. We've got the Sherco uh, 300 SER. Just making sure you guys know that Sherco 300 SER is the bike that I'm giving away for the price of a t shirt. All you have to do is go over to my website, it's dirtbikechannel.com forward slash win my dirt bike and you can be entered into the drawing we're giving that thing away it's gonna be awesome both two stroke 300s obviously both 17s and really really different characteristics on these bikes um, a couple weeks ago we were riding the beta straight from the factory and the beta motor felt really really soft and very rideable just kind of how beta kind of uh, their tagline rideability um, but it was leaving something to be desired and when we compared the two bikes back to back Just this bike felt like a race bred bike, right? Yep. and the beta just felt Sluggish uh, not terrible, but it felt sluggish and at the time we thought it felt more like a trail bike. Well um, We brought a trail bike with us today. We have Logan with us just off camera. He's got a CRF 250 X That's a trail bike and uh, this is not a trail bike. We ended up adjusting the uh, power valve on this thing and it livened up the motor. What did you think about the difference between what it was stock and what it was today? What were your thoughts on the Beta? Honestly, it really is night, <laughs> it's night and day. It made the power way more like a 302 stroke instead of just a boring, you know, like we mentioned, it's, it, it isn't a trail bike, but it felt like when we first had it, you know out of the box that we were just kind of just the power just was just slow it just just didn't open up and we're like honestly that's all we have and yeah the manual told you not to touch it yeah it was very controllable power there was power there it just didn't snap to attention and so i was really really underwhelmed and a lot of the guys kind of could hear it in my voice when they were watching some of the trail rides that i did on it initially uh well we've we've woken the bike up and the motor is now not a problem at all um Although every time we're on it, every time when you swap from this bike over to either the Sherco or the other KTMs that we've been riding with, it is definitely a lower seat height yeah. and the bike just feels smaller. Everything feels closer to you. The foot, pills, foot pegs feel closer to you. And I think that's gonna make guys feel really comfortable if they're under six feet tall. If you're 5'9", five 5'7", five 5'6", five this bike is going to be much more comfortable to you than like the Sherco is or any of the KTMs that we've been riding. You, what did you say about, you were doing a pivot turn. What did you say about that? Yeah, so um, doing a pivot turn on the Beta was so much easier just because the angle of being able to plant my foot, I didn't feel like I was like almost trying to do the splits. It was much more able to get my foot down without the seat hitting me and kind of making me lean. So I could plant my foot, get it up. So as a technical bike, I could see how guys would really enjoy riding that because you can get your feet down, it's low to the ground, has great power, all those things just add up to make it a really good bike. Yeah. Speaking about the gnarly stuff, last week I took this bike, the Beta, on a very, very rocky technical trail and I was alone and I was doing some filming and it was a lot of rocks, a lot of water, a lot of stuff where just where this bike is designed to go. And it did great. The little bit lower gearing on this, uh, sorry, I'm out of breath. We've been running around. The little, a little bit lower gearing on the Beta in first and second gear actually suits itself quite well to the really technical stuff. The Sherco over here has a higher first and second gear. It's almost like the gearing of the YZ250X. And if there was one thing, one, well, there was a few gripes, but one of the problems that I had with the YZ250X, a bike that I loved, was first gearing, the first gear was a little bit too tall for the really technical stuff. Sam, why don't you talk a little bit about the differences between the gearing in the bikes and what you liked and what you didn't like? Yeah, so um, the key thing to remember here is momentum's your friend in technical stuff. And the gearing, um, I felt like on the Beta, is probably a bit more spot on for really technical stuff. And, but the, with the way that the Sherco set up in conjunction with how the motor is a little more free revving than the Beta, it allowed you to still ride. You never use first gear in this bike unless um, it got really technical. And then once it gets technical, you're wanting to be in a second gear 
because if not, you're 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 gonna be blowing out your back tire because you've got to be on the gas more. But it's not really that bad, to be honest with you. Like I actually liked it because it's a 302 stroke. That's why we ride in a gear higher. But if I was gonna say which one that would suit the technical stuff better, it would be the Beta, hands down. Yeah, the Beta is a little bit more of a trials bike feel. I mean, I've never owned a trials bike, but you just get that feeling that this is this is bred more from a trials tight background because everything just feels tighter in foot pegs are closer maybe even lower seats lower so it does it does really well on the technical stuff as far as the forks go I've been playing around with the compression on both bikes and I got to be honest I prefer the forks of the Sherco the Sherco has a WP open cartridge fork system uh, this has got the beta has a sax fork system and the, they're also open cartridge and I just haven't been able to get the forks I, I've just I've just not been as comfortable with them on on the on the on the uh, beta as I have been on the Sherco. As far as brakes go, um, I think they actually run the same the same braking system. I've had no problem with the brake on I, brakes on either one. Allow me to interject here. I actually have had a couple of problems with the brakes on the beta. For whatever reason, the front brake on that is it just grabs easy. There's not a lot of feel initially on the stroke on that, and so you can you can really lock the wheel up. Uh, with one finger just by barely touching the front brake and it's made me crash twice in fact I'm still nursing an injury right now from a crash that happened with that front brake grabbing and it's happened to me two or three times and Sam at least once so not too happy with the brake on that front we did have to adjust both bikes a little bit on the rear brake so that we could reach it better but thing is with the front it was, you would get to a point where you're just starting to pull in if you're going down a hill or something like that or around a corner, and then all of a sudden it just started to pinch. And so it would cause your front tire to go down. And it wasn't a nice, cons consistent, you know, stopping power. So so when you were, you, you're you talking your front brake, you're applying more and more pressure, and then all of a sudden it would just grab yeah. a little bit. Yeah, that's what I felt like. And the other thing that I felt like is it turns really well. Like... When you're actually using the hand, you know, the, the handlebars to turn the bike versus leaning the bike, it's it's really quick and responsive. Got a tight rate, tight, tight turning, turning radius. Tight turning radius, but as we know with some of like the Suzuki bikes, bikes tight turning radius doesn't ask, actually mean that it's actually a good handling bike. It's a decent handling bike, and I feel like when you're ripping through fast, faster like um, berms or anything like that. It doesn't lay down into it as smooth and kind of wants to tuck the front tire, which could be a tire choice as well. These tires are, you know, DOT approved tires, so they're probably not as aggressive as some of the other tires we had. But looks like we got horses coming. We do have horses coming. Or mu more mules. We we got we got mules. How's How it going, guys? Have you seen any other mules? Oh yeah, yeah there was whole, like four, whole, like forty of them. Is that your guys' group? They went this way. They yeah. went that I way. I don't know. We got here late. It, it's hard <laughs> to miss. Fifteen yeah, minutes away, I think. Yeah, they're maybe ten minutes ahead of you. Okay. Have a good one. We had like forty mules pass through here Most just a second mules ago. I've ever seen on one trail. Was there was there one horse? There was one, one one black horse, and I was gonna comment on that, but she kind of went past and didn't. She, I, I think she we didn't and we shut that. we shut down the bikes and we took off the helmets to make sure make sure they would go by, and then we're like, hey, we might as well just set up a shot here and do some talking. And in full disclosure, guys, I paid, I paid for the Sherco. We did not pay for the Beta. Beta stepped up. Kudos to Beta, and they let me borrow this bike for 90 days. Um, so the Beta is free. I'm not having to pay for the bike. I got to turn it back to them. So um, I bought this one and I didn't buy that one. Um, that's 100% honest uh, in my reviews for you guys. So thanks for tuning in. And uh, we'll probably roll some of this footage into uh, some of the different videos that we do. Um, and we'll, there will be a ton more coming on these bikes. This is not a full roundup review. This is just kind of an introductory where I